good kitten internet. Let's go right back in. Um, it's actually been about an hour for me. I was doing a couple of other things. So I believe, yeah, this is the line that we can walk. And out of curiosity, I'll show you what happens when I go over here. So remember when I had mentioned way, way back, this is actual years ago, when we had left Grand's Island, that, huh, that's a little weird. Why is there a little dot over here? This is what appeared. We can't do anything with this right now. Statue of a devil's head looks ready to bite you. But what we can do is find the evil Lance. Lance. Okay, that's it. There's nothing else here that we can do right now. I just wanted to point that out. All right. I just heard that Geshus, Gesha lost. All greater devils have been defeated except for Odd Eye. This is a good chance for us to become greater devils. I'm sure Zeon will promote us if we can get Jewel. Look over there. They're coming. Excellent. Welcome to your graveyard. So, yep, this is a normal battle. There's no boss of the battle. And technically, yes, the Hydra is a boss with its 150 attack. <laughs> But, it's not a real boss. So yeah, 150 attack. 150. For reference, Bowie has 54 defense. So a shot from the Pyrohydra is expected to do 96 points of damage to Bowie. Bowie can't take that. In fact, most of my force can't take that. With a couple of exceptions. So for instance, Janet has 74 defense. She would be almost dead. She would ex be expected to have 3 hit points remaining. Um, who else we got? Uh, let's go ahead and let Excel be visible again. Think. There we go. Apparently I don't have it cropping off the bottom. Oh, well, anyway, um, so taking a look at this, uh, defense-wise, we've got Slade as our highest defense, which is weird. So Slade has 81 defense and 62 hit points. So that's only 143. That's not good enough. Really, our best option would either be, ja or would probably be Randolph. Randolph is right here. Um, between 77 defense and 82 hit points would be expected to have nine hit points remaining. This is assuming that is on open terrain. Um, we're not going to be on open terrain because there's literally no open terrain down here anyway. Um, planes are 15%. The only open terrain's up here. So we'll at least survive hits, but it's not going to be pretty. And uh, this is probably my biggest complaint about Shining Force 2 is that enemy attack values are constantly climbing and enemy defense values are ignored. They, they don't really increase at the same rate. So what ends up happening is that everyone becomes a glass cannon of your opponents. And that's not as fun. So we're actually at the point of the game that I don't like. So there's two points of the game that I don't really like in base Shining Force 2. Uh, the first point of the game is right at the beginning where random chance will kill you and there's nothing you could have done about it. Or at the end where random chance will kill you and there's nothing you could have been done uh, you could have done about it. Like if one, if that pirate, uh, that Hydra crits, we're dead. Doesn't matter who they target. Also, nice level up, Jaha. Is it actually Jaha or Yaha? Hmm. Anyway, 
Um, we are not going to make the same mistake we did with Kiwi last time. So we've got archers. This is actually a small battle. Okay, no, there's enemies above. Okay, that makes more sense. So we've got Snow Dragon there, and then these two goobers. Your movement's five. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> okay. Let's start embracing our terrain. Uh, we only have one mage and one healer, so we don't need to worry too much. Also, that tower counts as a barrier, and I'm not entirely sure why. But it means that that dragon actually has to fly over the tower just like Bowie does. Or maybe under? Can't remember now. Anyway, I'm putting Bowie there. Uh, who do we have that's super high level of the normal characters, like non-mage? Uh, that would be Bowie and Luke and Randolph. Luke I'll have hold back because it's going to be easy enough to have Luke move forward again. Janet's going to stay forward. Slade will stay back of the... of those folk. How are you? I've... It's been a bit of a long day. Two that we have now is basically instant gain crap tons of hit uh, crap tons of XP. Of course, it also costs 11 MP, so I don't want to be casting that all the time. I would rather cast Aura 1 and get most of the XP. So Aura 1 is going to give me 25 XP. Aura 2, I think, gives me 30. So if we target four targets with Aura 1, we get 25 XP. If I remember right, it's up to 7 targets is still 25 XP. It's a really weird calculation. I haven't quite understood why. Hello, Mini. Oh. Just remember, Randolph doesn't have Mithril weapons. His claws are in Mithril. Use your Atlas Axe. Yeah, hit Randolph for 13 instead of attacking for more than 13. Good job. A plus planning there. Okay, nobody down there is even moving. Trying to lure people out. By using all the good characters up front. Ninja, stabity! Stab. Oh. Why is everybody dodging so often? One moment. This is why I have a mute button on my microphone. Ease. Move the snip down. Um, this vicar is just going to stay here and do a heal one. Leveled up. Nice. Slade's the one that I was planning on using to attack, so I will. How about you die now? Yeah, stay dead. Only 14 XP, though. Ugh. And to be fair, Minotaurs are on their way out. Minotaurs are last year, thank you very much. Okay, your movement is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or six. Okay. One XP? Really? Uh 
maybe I did bring the wrong group up there after all. Oh well. Not much I can do about it now. Give ourselves a fat cross, and this should also be 25 XP. Yep. I really don't understand it. That was a terrible mistake. Why did I do that? Hold on a moment. This much I already did, so... Whatever. I'm more meant moving the Vicar there. That's within range of a whole bunch of different enemies. Definitely them. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's in range. And you're six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's dumb. Why the heck would I have done that? Dang it, me. Just get four people in. It's fine. It's the same amount of XP anyway. There we go. They didn't attack. They didn't take my bait. Hmm. Everybody's level 21 up here. Nobody's going to get any XP, are they? Yeah. The Cyclops must actually be level 21. I mean, you're kind of darned if you do, darned if you don't there. You might as well hit the one with over 100 hit points. Ugh. I mean, seriously, what is with these stats? I have 103 hit points on a freaking healer. Or for that matter, 115 MP on a wizard. Out of curiosity. How much damage do you actually do if you thwack somebody with a stick? 21. Blaze for... 43. I gained 1 XP. I will gain 1 XP no matter what I do. Uh, yeah, actually go ahead and soften them up by attacking. Why not? Just heal yourself, Kiwi. You're a perfectly cromulent tank. I have like one hit point or something. Also, dang it, no strength increase or attack increase. It has two. Okay, you're dying now. Oh no, you dodged by putting up your shields. What's with all the dodges? Well, I'll tell you what's with all the dodges. Enemy agility is increasing, and this game doesn't actually have a way of mitigating that. So enemies will start dodging things more often for absolutely no good reason. And by the way, Bolt, you're dead. I'm not. I will one-shot a white dragon. You're too high low. Just heal Kiwi. Kiwi. As in the knife. Attack that dark gunner. Bonk. Because Jen is the only level. Uh, only character below level 20 left. Uh, Slade, you can move right on down. All the way down. Gas Wizard moves down. That's fine. You're moving up and around because I'm expecting that I've finally taunted out some more enemies. Get some more aura going on. Nobody's even injured. Randolph, go ahead and move on down. Ah, uh, crap, I didn't realize that I had an archer there. 
Well, it's a good thing Chester has hit point. Nope. Grumble. <sighs> Just grumble. Bonk. 31 damage on Daha. Kind of impressive, actually. That has actually decent defense. Time to punch. Just look at how much damage Kiwi does now. 56 damage on a Hellhound. 1 XP. That's the problem, is that I'm too high level on some of my characters and too low level on other characters. Because this is Archer Force 2, nobody has good defense. Uh. Oh, I forgot to repair my heat axe. Oh well. Guess I won't use it. Go ahead and heal Jaha. Speaking of characters that have way too damn many levels, Jaha, how about you just spread the word? That'll do. Mm. Oh, he's at least getting XP, so it's not that high of a level. Damage. That will. Bonk. 32 damage, 1 XP. Increase at least, yay! Janet, thank you. You're the one I've been looking for. Please start killing that hellhound. Thank you. Even Janet's not getting a full 49 XP. But on the plus side, Janet finally leveled. We no longer have characters below 20. I mean, we do. They're just all in the caravan, and nobody cares about them. All right, I could run up and shoot him. That would be dumb. Because four. One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, that would be the reason why it's dumb. Eh. Why the hell not? That would be why, because agility in minotaurs is a thing. Level 22. What spells do we have left on road anyway? Uh, freeze 4 and Aura 3 and Aura 4. Speaking of, I never actually updated this spell on here, and you definitely need a better color. Because Aura 2 is the awesome. Weird. Okay. Go attack the tank instead of the archer sitting in the middle of everywhere, sure. Oh, not heal four, heal three. Heal Randolph. Okay, what are my force levels at this point? Um, because we're a bit unbalanced. 23, 21, 26, 26.52, 26.5, 26.5, 26.5, 26.5, 26.5, 26.5, 26.5, 26.5, 26.5, 26.5, 26.5, 26.5, 26.5, 26.5, 26.5, 26.5, 26.5, 26.5, 26.
It's like I'm gaining XP really fast until I stop gaining XP entirely. It's because of the way damage is working for this party. So I'm basically a very high damage party right now. Okay, so got it. 20s and 21s are the ones that need XP. You are 22. You can soften, though. Yeah, I'm getting one XP from these. You're level 20. How about you finish off that Minotaur? Funk. Yay. Ooh, I gained Holy Thunder. Holy Thunder is another one of those you use an item to do high damage attack at a melee range type of things. It's the highest level one, if I remember right. Okay, who is actually significantly injured? You're down 13. You're down 4. You're down 3. Yep. Okay, we've got these goobers remaining and that's it. So we need to start in a formation again. Preferably taunting them out with Janet because Janet has gobs of defense. just give a whole bunch of like mild amount of hit point increase and I earned the exact same amount of XP as heal one or aura one that's why aura two is not good for XP it's good for useful area of effect healing instead okay I have to be careful because of that goober you have six one two three four five six I'm actually staying right there Baron. Yeah, go there. That's... I forgot about the fact that Blast has an area of effect. Not a big deal, it's just Blast. You're going to shoot, Janet. This might hurt. Eh, not that much. still boosted? Yes, we are. Okay. Um, give him something to complain about. I'm pretty sure Freeze 4 will kill it. Let's find out. Oh, okay. That's fine. Just weakening. Janet, how about some healing? that priest off or not because everything has high agility now fine suck it bolt Don't want a healer there anyway. Okay. Gotta be careful. What is the Hydra's movement? Is it five? Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. As long as I don't go after Old Man Wizard, I'm fine. Unfortunately, this is the turn that boost is expiring, so this might hurt a bit.
going after Tyrin. Well, he's got enough hit points to survive it, because Blaze 4 doesn't actually do that much damage. This thing's gonna go again soon, and has 10 hit points left. I think May should snip it. Before it lives. There we go. May leveled up too, that helps. Yay, attack increase and two defense. I'm with that. Yeah, crap. Ow! Okay, this is where we might have a problem. I think my best bet is going to be taking out the White Dragon. I'm screwed. That was my best bet, but not so much now. Okay, so. Who all is actually injured? Randolph is injured. Janet is injured. Rick is heavily injured. And so is Tyran. This is going to be a heal two. Or aura two. Because if I hit like that, I will hit three characters that heavily need hit points. And a whole bunch of characters that don't. 20, 15, 18, 15. Going after Luke. Oh, you're blowing out a snowstorm. That's not too bad on damage. Randolph. I think you need to be punched into next week. We a quick battle. Cyclops going after Luke. This might be a problem. Of course Luke got critted for one off of his maximum hit points, too. Welp. Fine. You want to be like that? Fine. Bolt three your butts. Chaos Wizard's going down. 55 damage on a normal attack. That would have been a one-shot. Take out the white dragon. I'm being sloppy because people are dying. We figured out that Janet's one of the ones that could survive that attack, so. Janet levels up. Good. More survivability is always handy. Randolph can actually take it better than Janet. Also, I can just do this. Randolph leveled up. Nice. Defense increased by three. Very nice. Yep, and you're going after Janet, and that's fine. Janet should be able to take one hit. Yeah, 56 damage. Ow. 
Ow. No, I'm not doing that. Why would I do something silly like that? When I could instead boost! Boost. Eh, yeah, might as well. Attack increased on Slade, that's always nice. In, snipe the rest. Yep. Especially because of the crit. 49 XP. Alright. Save. Go back to town. Egress. I don't feel like walking back like the 13 steps. Raise dead. Praise deed. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm only a half an hour in. Maybe I'll make up for the fact that I had to do one battle really, really crappily. No, wait. It's going to take me a while to get to the next battle, if I remember right. Unless if I trigger a random battle. Alright. We're a little on the lopsided side, if I remember right. Mostly because they died on me. I mean, Luke was okay. Luke has Luke was above average on levels anyway. It's Chester that's the problem because Chester's level twenty, and I don't think I have anybody else in my force at level twenty. I have plenty of people in the caravan below that, but I'm not going to use them anymore. There's no reason to. None. Okay, good. No random battle. That particular battle can trigger repeatedly. So. This is something that the game never really tells you. They expect you to figure this out on your own. You remember this, right? This is for the opening sequence. Jewel of Light begins to glow. The light seems to pull Bowie. Remember, we haven't been in here since we've had the Jewel of Darkness. The Jewel glows even brighter. Oh, an opening. The light is leading us. Where was that? There's a way of getting at that one chest that's blocked, isn't there? Or is this something I've already done when I came here myself earlier? Anyway. This is what the shrine was hiding. A holy sword is stuck deeply into the rock. You have to use A to search. Kazin received the Force Sword. Ah, that's the thing I needed. So it sounds like something opened somewhere. You got it! Now all we have to do is find the door to the tower. Yep, this is... You have to go all the way back to the beginning. The game doesn't really tell you about that. There it is. This is... The Evil Axe. How evil. Much axe. What was that notification noise? Uh, it looks like an email. Hold on a moment. I need to pay attention to these for a little bit. Okay, it's just an old notification. Got it. Just the notification that, yes, I received an order from eBay. All right. Believe it or not, there is actually no point of no return for the rest of the game. We can always go back now. We can go back to the entire game for that matter. But it might take us a while to get there. You'll see what I mean. Item use Kazin had it. Because I'm that full on inventory now. Four sword.
Oh, um, something I wanted to check. I forgot to do so. Uh, deals. In case if there is anything that dropped that I didn't, I was full on and couldn't pick up. Make sure I have everything. There is a shopkeeper in here. There's only one. Or maybe they went back outside. No, there he is. That's a regular deals. All right, so I've sold several of these myself. Nope, there are no extra deals. Also, look at how much money the demon rod costs to buy. So yeah, I could actually buy everything back at this point, and maybe I will. But probably not. Cursed weapons are just not worth using in this game. <sighs> Alright. Since there's nothing there, I'm just reloading from the state. Let's go in. So, this is a labyrinth. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I'm going off of memory here. Uh, no, I took the wrong turn. Okay. Remember that, right? Nope. Maybe it was this way? No. I used to have this memorized. Completely. This way. Nope, that brings me back. Is it like here? Yep, there it is. Oh. That just brings me back again. Darn it, me. I used. Ooh. Here it is. This is looking familiar. One that goes under all the passages. This is the one that I go down on the left side. I remember now. Just took me a bit to remember how to do this, that's all. Not bad for a uh, decade plus of knowledge. Bowie, you're finally here. that? Did you forget about me, Bowie and Peter? Oddler, are you Odd-Eye? Who would have guessed with those similar sounding names? Salbard said... Hmm, yes, I am he. Hmm, you're the leader of the Devil Army that attacked Beddo. Hmm, yes, I am, Sir Astral. How did you know me? Hmm. Bowie told me all about you repeatedly. He dealt with all of the things that Bowie constantly says. What do you want? Huh. Don't talk to me like that. I'm very sad. Sad? You've got to be joking. Well, yeah, I am. Really quite evil. And that is absolutely going to be the quote for this battle. Uh, uh... Anyway, I came here to deliver an ultimatum. Think long and well before answering me. <laughs> Leave the jewel, your weapons, and your items here, or die! Uh, that means we don't have to fight him. Right? True, but we can't let- uh, can't take the easy way out. We mustn't give him the jewel. <laughs> you know how strong I am. I think you had better accept the offer. Hmm. Oh, what should we do? Are you kidding? We have to fight. Well, time's up. We need space to battle. <laughs> and Odd Eye summons a battlefield. 
I'm very sorry, Bowie, but I must kill you. Bowie, are we really gonna fight Hitler? That's enough out of you! Bowie, let's do it. Alright. So, we've got a lot of things to take care of, because this is not an easy fight. So first off, we've got normal enemies, but we also have some new ones, like a demon who casts Bolt 2. And has 140 attack, because why not? Uh, we also have Chaos Warriors. Chaos Warriors are endgame enemies, as in this enemy will exist for the entire game. They also have the ability to boost up their own attack, but the AI script never uses it, luckily because we would be utterly screwed if they got a cast attack. That's an extra plus 50 attack, roughly. So they'd be one-shotting everybody. They're already pretty close to one-shotting everybody because if I remember right, all of this is terrain effect 0%. No, it's 15, okay. Uh, what else do we have that's new? We have Demon Masters. These are also endgame units. They have a Mystery Staff equipped, which means, yes, they do in fact restore 2 MP every move, just like our characters do. They also have Freeze 4, just in case if you thought that Geshup having Freeze 4 was too unfair, they're shoving it down your throat now. We still have an Evil Bishop, because uh, why not? And most importantly, Adai. 200 hit points. 160 MP, although he has nothing that uses MP, but his attack is actually lower than a good chunk of the units that we're fighting. But notice his weapon. It's a counter sword. He's going to be counterattacking a lot more often. Also, he has fairly high agility and reasonable defense. Adai is effectively Bowie's evil counterpart in Shining Force 2, uh, only with a hell of a lot higher stats. Also, he looks really awesome. So, how do we do this? Well, there's the obvious first thing we need to do. I'm trying to figure out which two characters to not boost. Yeah, I think like that's gonna be my best bet. Okay, I can drop the volume on my side. Jaha is now level 27. I am not used to seeing mages level up this fast. Healers, yes. Mages, no. So, fun fact. If you are slow enough, when, as in your party being slow enough when you enter this battle, it is entirely plausible that Odd Eye will just go twice in a row constantly. It's not even unlikely. You're... You're the poor vicar, not the good vicar. Really wish I could choose the order that my party appears down below. It's kind of annoying that I can't. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's see where I can go there. We're five or six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus one, plus two. You can hit there. We're fine. So a weird thing about this battle is that the battlefield will start falling apart after a bit. I have no idea what happens if you're actually standing on one of those spots, because you'd have to rush the battlefield really fast to land on one of those spots. Notice Odd Eye's already gone a second time. And there are several enemies that haven't gone there first. Aura? I just want to hit four. Thank you! Boop, 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 boop. Oh, leveled up. HP 2, MP 2, Defense 1, Agility 1. Decent level up. I'd like Aura 3 now. So Aura 3 is the same as Heal 3 in that um, you'll heal 37 hit points, if I remember right, 
but it's in that large fat cross is what it's referred to. Ugh. So crowded in the start. Not a fan of that. Okay, so everywhere I have a terrain effect of 15%. So I believe what that actually does, I don't know if it reduces damage by 15% or adds 15% defense. Those are two separate things after all. Um, and... Again, I don't... You can't actually reach this area with a ground unit very easily. Um, I... I could try by equipping um, things onto my ninja and giving my ninja a huge amount of movement, but I don't know. Um, hold on a moment, got invited to a Twitch thing. Just a moment. There we go. Even more, because, you know, I don't have enough levels. I need more. We've got to go deeper. Okay, um, you're pretty far away. You're even further away. Okay, time to go attack a snood. Uh, wait, dragon fluffies. Luckily, they've got defense like my flyers do, or my entire force does, for that matter. Yeah, I can't even reach with Slade by moving up. Just sit there. Luke, yeah, go ahead and stab. Stabity. 22, HP 2, MP 1, attack, defense, agility. Luke's also done with his spells, so I'm not too concerned about getting those. Not unless if he has a third and fourth spell, even though he shouldn't. I don't think he does. Yeah. There. May. You can go up there. Buoy. There is fine. Randolph, you are a tank. I want you up in front, please. Road, you are not a tank. Please do not uh, pretend to be one. Go ahead and recover some MP. Rick, you're also not a tank. Please do not pretend to be one. Just heal. P2. Uh, does Rick actually get any more heal? Yeah, Rick doesn't have heal 4 yet. Or Apollo 2. Or Bolt 3 or Bolt 4. Yeah, Rick's actually the one that needs more spells. The most. Demon. Yep, that's what I was expecting to have happen. Demons cast Bolt. It sucks. Greater Demons cast Bolt 3. And that's coming up soon. Uh, so I've got this battle. One, two, three. So this is the fourth to last battle of the game. I'd think about it. Freeze, sucker! Take 57. I gain 1 XP because I'm too high level. This is what I mean by it's kind of nuts that characters have abilities that are super high level. You can't normally get them unless if you do weird things like what I've been doing and boosting constantly. Um, we'll heal Slade. What is your movement? Is it five? One, two, three, four, five. Cool. This spot's safe. No, it isn't. No spot is safe. Oh well, doing it anyway. Die, demon. You don't belong here, demon. Level up. HP two, no attack. Really? Really? 
So yeah, we're, um, I'm going to guess it's gonna be three more videos. This is, what is it, episode 37? So it looks like I'm going to be correct in that we will end on episode 40. Uh, anything bad if I'm gonna attack that one? No, not really, actually. The things are really spread out in this battle. Fortunately, yeah, I was about to say, you can't kill it. But you can level up. You gained attack and defense. Those are the things that matter. Slade, go boom boom. Oh, you're only gaining one XP from that. Which means I'm just going to kill it with Bowie. I don't want to deal with having to fight them, even though Bowie's also going to get one XP. Uh, is there anybody even injured? I don't think there is. That's the one I wanted. Nope. to being this high level. This is normally the battle that I reach level 20 at, but I've had to level up slightly more than normal because I have too many archers. And the reason why that matters is because defense is so low that I have to keep a higher level than normal in order to take a hit. If I was three levels lower, there's a very good chance I would be constantly just getting one-shotted. And that's not fun. Yep, I figured you were going to go punch a Bow Knight. Speaking of getting one-shotted, you know, given how long we have left on this battle and the current time, I'm thinking that I'm going to egress. I'm just doing this for XP. Ingress sounds like a great idea. don't want Chester to constantly get beaten up. I know Chester has the lowest defense of the not healers of the party, but I can't let that happen. Oh, I should make a real save. I'm going to save and then get back into the battle. And then that will be it for the video, because... One, I'm a little tired and don't want to play any longer, making mistakes like that. Uh, two, this would be a super long video otherwise. Oh well, so I guess we're going to have four videos remaining. Let's see if I can remember it now. It being the maze. Oop, did not mean to walk down there. That's fine. All the way up to the top. 
and to the left, and down before the slide, follow the path until you get to the split, then go around and go under all of the stairwells, then down as far as that you can go until you have a slide to the left, slide down, then over to the right. Don't go down that slide, go all the way up that you can, go down the slide, then down, around, and into the doors. And this is where we'll stop. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!